come from a background as being a performer. Uh, prior to really making a lot of my own work, a lot of the companies and artists that I worked with come from this this lineage of really powerful, grounded, earthy kind of dancing and stuff that I guess is really theatrical in a sort of dark and dramatic and tumultuous kind of way. So. In a way I was informed by that experience but also I think there's something in my nature that means that I was cut out for doing that kind of thing. There's something in me that's really interested in the you know the power of humans and of our, of our physicality and how somehow that's a very natural thing and it's really connected to the natural world which is a world for me of weather and storm and instinct and the relationship I guess between animal and human. It's something which I'm really, I'm really connected to in a kind of gut sort of way and an instinctual way. But then it's also something I'm attracted to from a, I guess, a more, more conceptual point of view in looking at the way humans sit in the world, how we interact and how everything big is built from lots of tiny components and then how sometimes if one tiny little component changes, the whole thing changes or the whole thing can break or the whole thing can evolve and become something else. And, you see it in cities and you see it in forests and you see it in the sea and uh, yeah I'm fairly holistic in the way that I look at things and you know I also like drama. I like drama, I like cinema, I like epicness. As I watch things I sort of see exactly what's happening but then it's like there's a whole nother layer in front of it where you can imagine where it could go to and, and all these extra things that could kind of happen and it's quite an instinctual intuitive way of, way of working. I'm not really a planner. <laughs>